Go live at I'm live. Oh, well, hi, everybody. I was just trying to see if I can get you to curse. Oh. No. They're like, <gasps> she does talk nasty. I'm dadgum bad words. I'm not a big bad word talker. I gotta be worked up or yelling at Amazon. Greetings, morning. Or FedEx. Really. So, y'all. I've been seeing a lot of geometric type pieces over pores, and I want to do one because you know how I get when I'm like, mm, I could do that. We're going to see if I could do that. So today we're going to be fixing two pieces with masking tape and gold leaf. Yeah, we got real um, ahead of ourselves and went ahead and masked this one off. So we're going to mask this one off with you guys so you can see the process. Yeah. Yeah. So first things first, you have to have a pour. Ideally for this type of art, you would want a negative space pour. And you're gonna basically figure out a shape that goes in and out of your piece. Uh, for the purposes of ease, I'm only doing straight line things. because I won't have to worry about making so a perfect circle, for example. Let's do it like this. Let's do, we can either do like a chalk pen or this to where you can see what's gonna work through a solid. Hey y'all. Thank you guys for coming in and seeing what we're up to today. I hope you'll love it like we do. It's hot and humid. Yeah, it's that way here too. What tape is Jeff using? Now, this is uh, basically car pinstriping tape. It's just uh, is that the kind that can bend as you go? Yeah, like you can, you can literally bend this stuff. It's what they make flames with. Yeah. It sticks really well. It bends, like she said. So. All right, so what we want to do now is just kind of figure out the in and the out, basically. So well, I want this to be out because I love the look of this. So that you're gonna want it to go over that? I want it to go under it. I want this yeah. to be out. So what we'll do is we'll cut it here. Cut it here since it's a solid point. Mm-hmm. So we'll see it's going under. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So now if you want you can do here and come out here. That's going to be also over. Yep. And if you want, you can do. I was going to say, let's leave this one over because you need to have some overages. Yeah. So what's happening? Hold on. Hi everyone, thanks for coming in and seeing what we're up to today. We are making some awesome uh, upgrades to some of our pores that we've had for a while. Basically we have to do this backwards. Should have left that on. 
we're taking these out because these are going to be the gold lines, right? Yeah. So we have, we're going to have to take these out and put a line over this. So we, we set it up right, but putting the tape down. Well, that'll just show us what it would look like. So you're right. We're going to have to. That's the thing, you know, it doesn't matter if you're already know where the line's going to be. Yeah. But I'm just saying, what the point of the skinny tape was is just to see. Just to give you a good outline of where. So I hope everyone is having an awesome today. Uh, if you don't know, we're Artists Till Death. We go live every day, usually. It's usually at 6 p.m. Central, except for on Tuesdays at 2 p.m. Central. Uh, here lately, we've thought we would take the weekends off. Because we have been very busy bees. The thing with doing this, there's just a lot of cutting after this, so be prepared to cut a lot. And I'm putting this tape just right next to it so these lines would be a little bit thicker, which I think this is probably a little bit much for anybody that has just started doing this. So, what you're going to do is just cut right next to, you know, follow your line, basically. I've loaded a second exacto situation. You never want to cut with a dull knife. That's how accidents happen. Um, I am feeling better. I was not, um, at all feeling okay yesterday. Definitely feeling better today. You should be doing this because, because... Yeah. So, Betty, what we're doing is we are taping off areas so that we can put some gold geometric accents on the piece. And to do that, we masked off the areas that we don't want something to show. And actually mask off all of it because we're going to use the masking to create a straighter line. Okay. This little tiny tape does its job. Very sticky. I was getting someone singing to me. I cut a little bit outside of the line over here. You can see it's kind of burp. So to fix that, I'm just putting a straight line right up against it, just laid right exactly over top. If you've ever done your eyeliner, and it got away from you because you're like, I'm just gonna add a little bit here and a little bit here. It's gonna be amazing. It's not, it's not gonna be amazing. You're gonna end up with two black eyes. At least that's what happens to me. 
So we're covering back up the areas where we want the gold to be under the design. And we're leaving open the areas where we want the gold to go over the design. So it's gonna look like it's going inside, outside. It's gonna be a whole mood. It's gonna be amazing. And it's not gonna take that long to do. This is just an easy you way can, to level up your artwork. Your cut. See, that's nice. Just pull the tape up so you can see if that's where you want it to exit or go into, basically. Yeah, and if you notice, he just tore this side so that'll give like a more rustic looking edge. So yeah, we good? Do we love it? We're gonna start. Yeah. Doing the thing? Let's do the thing. Okay. Mm. Now, the next part Could be considered the fun part, could be considered the not fun part. But what's gonna happen now is we're gonna use this stuff. Um, as an adhesive for our gold leaf. It's like the bottle with the lady on it. This is for like car pinstripers. Like industrial version of. I don't want to tip this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, mm -mm. Yeah. Ducks paint, quick dry gilding size. And some people say that they can add, because it's very clear, um, that you could add maybe just a hint of yellow to it. Is that better or not? Yeah, that's um, that you could add just a hint of yellow to it just so you can kind of see where you've put it I, i'm not sure how this stuff does but if you ever want to do that with your uh it looks like oil speed ball is that what it is the bottle with the lady yeah speed ball mona lisa Mona Lisa. Yeah, I'm planning on flood coating after. The only thing is, I'm not sure if this glue is oil-based. I, th I think it's oil-based, so you might want to be careful. You might want to test this. Well, this one will be the test to see if I can flood over it. And basically, you just paint it on. And this stuff stays... It says it, leave it for an hour to three hours for, uh, for it to start being tacky. What I liked about it when I saw the guy using it on the video, um, he pulled just, I mean, he put a whole line down with this paintbrush and you can see it because he, how he had it, how he had it angled and it was on a dark piece of what do you call it? Car. Car. So you can really see. This stuff seems a lot thicker than the Mona Lisa. A lot smoother. Well, in the can, it looks like, it looks like, like castor lacquer. oil. Yeah, like yeah. a lacquer. But when you put it down, it's not. Can't even see it. So, not even uh, close. Yeah, we could. Do you want to use Mona Lisa for the other one? We might need to just hit it with the heat gun. All right. Nope. It's right there. So, we're going to try to speed this up. I'm not using too much heat, I don't want to scorch it. We'll dry it right away. Or we'll dry it too fast. I have the heat all the way up, but the airflow on the lowest setting. Oh. It Pulling a little bit. Not... 
if you touch over here, it's a little tackier. Yeah. I wasn't sure if we should do like the variegated leaf or that leaf or the stuck on leaf or the loose leaf. I just grabbed that one. I don't know why it's in parts. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. All right, so what that's I'm going to hold. Just, I'm just going to lay this right next to it. But I'm not going to lay it all the way down. I'm just going to. Tap, 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 tap. Did you glue that paper down? Mm -mm. It's okay, Bowie. It's just a scraggler from outside. Well, I was hoping that would just break. <laughs> just tap that a little bit down did you sand the piece first i didn't just because it was the last second um it always helps your resin pieces if there's tooth if you're gonna flood it honestly since this is a fun not a functional piece it's a wall art i don't really have any concern about delamination if it was a functional piece no question i would have sanded probably best to sand better safe than sorry but i did not on this one stephanie says we know it's mona lisa but will forever be known as the bottle with the lady on it Ooh, ooh. Mm -mm. <laughs> it is Patchwork. Beep, beep, beep. Oh, it's cut all the way up. What did we do this for? Because it's easier to, to have them in strips like that. Oh, look at that. That's nice. Because it's, it's easier to to lay it down if it's if you're just doing in small sections and you're not putting it down and it blowing away or ripping or mm -hmm. like you're reducing the chance of a whole piece getting destroyed reducing the odds of waste yeah. well we don't like to waste around here waste not etc I'm so excited to see how this is gonna turn out. Brilliant idea for the heat gun. Because waiting one to three hours is for the birds. The open cans make you nervous. Well, let's fix that as I get sticky all over my fingers. It's sticky. While Jeff is making sure everything is stuck fully down, I'm just gonna. Well, you can use the. Uh... Brayer? Yeah. It's over there. Or it's over here. I, well, I was wondering where that heat was coming from. Literally just saw the brayer. Oh, it's right there. Under that red. <clears throat> So this is a brayer, and its job is to make sticky things sticky downy. Sticky downy. Yeah, it's just a rubber roller. For and it printing makes and things in more contact. Even contact. Yeah, more even contact. Is it time to see moment of truth? Do you want to do this now? I don't know. 
Judy. Should we do this one and let this one set and then come and then peel tape after we get everything down on the this one? Okay. Say we can cut strips like this so that you can just lay them right down on there. Say again? Just cut them in strips. Oh yeah, because these were already cut into half sheets. Thank you, Pamela, for reminding people to hit the like button. Jeff has a super happy face on his face right now. Super happy face. Mm-hmm. If this works. But I love this holder. Hold on, everybody, and I'll give you a view of what's happening with Jeff, if I can figure out the this. There it is. So Jeff is using um, something, paper a paper cutter. To cut a whole bunch of tea tiny gold strips. It is perfect. And so the point of this is reducing waste. Because if you see here, all of that that's stuck to the tape that's not within that tape line that we did. All right, just had to tighten you guys back up. So all we needed was this area right in here. And so all of this, I'm gonna try to peel it off and save it, but ultimately would be waste. And so just trying to cut some strips that are just big and bigger than these ones here. So when we lay the gold down onto this, it yeah, won't. That's like genius. It won't come up. So if I would have used a spray adhesive on this, all of this gold would be stuck and unusable. And since we didn't do that, I'm just going to pull these bits. Surprise, boy cat's not over here. Okay. Has some saved bits. Look at that. So this is literally like... Hello, Kimba. Cheers. So, now that we're going to be done with this one for a minute, we're just going to let this set up for the amount of time it takes to apply the gold onto the bigger one. And then we'll pull the tape on the smaller one with you guys. Here's a product of Jeff's hard work. See, and that Mona Lisa would have been dried by now. And this brush probably would have been... It would have been a rock, probably. Ruined. So I'm just going to go and just... Brilliant to cut into the strips. Hi, Ida. I know, right, Betty? Kimba says, nice. I just started getting into abstract painting. Well, welcome. Glad to have you. Uh, Mike says, get some imitation gold one shot to tint the size. You can see where you put it since it's clear. Yeah, I, I just learned of uh, gold leafing. Like, there's a couple guys that I follow on TikTok that I was really surprised that they actually told me what they used. You guys, I thought the art world was past um, being crappy to other artists. Wait, okay, let me back up. I do not think that artists that keep their secrets to themselves are crappy. I think if you come up with something and it's original to you and you want to keep it a secret, then you go for it. A billion dollars. If, if it's on Shark Tank, do it. Do it. <laughs> I understand. 
My issue is when you're rude to people that are getting into art or use it for like art therapy or whatever it is, just don't be crappy to people. That's all I ask. Don't be crappy and... You can smell the oil in this. So we should probably open a window. I think it actually says that on the... On the, uh... In the can? Bottle. Yeah. You can, it definitely has an odor. Uh, it is ducks. You're teaching Gary to fry okra to Judy right now? Whew. That's fantastic. Is he making you a fresh loaf of bread? I hope so. P.S. Speedy recovery for Judy. While she rests on her sofa. The masters did not keep secrets. This is true. Hi, Kelly. Welcome. Techniques. Agreed, Joe. So, is this done being painted on? Yeah. Alright, just making sure of why you're walking around with a paintbrush. So, I want to send Steve all of these markers and stuff. He wants some resin. And I told him just pay for shipping. Alright. Can we do that after the live? I know. I'm just trying to find um, spirits. Spirit? Um, spirit gum may be in the bottom of the pantry. Spirit gum? Gum spirit, spirit gum. Yeah. Do, Strides. could acetone be okay for him? I don't know. He did, that's funny. If they're crappy to people, Erica and I will figure it out and share it. This is true. Listen, if it is something that someone worked really hard on and they it's classified or whatever. And, and it's something that, of course, I wouldn't would expect to get me. But just techniques and Little tips and tricks, like it's not hard to just help people out when, especially if they're just starting out, you know. We've had a lot of people ask us if we're gonna get on like paid sites and all this Patreon. Patreon. Everybody asks us, everybody asks us where our Patreon is. Like, no. And ultimately, we're here to help people to grow their style. Patreon would be amazing, but... What happened over here, babe? Did you... Well, I moved them because the heat gun would have blown them anyways. <laughs> so these are the strips Jeff cut and the gold leaf. So the best way to do this, if you can, leave them... Leave them in your... In between each of these. I mean, that's basically why you cut them. So then you just... So you can just... Lay them out. Yeah. My side's going to be very patchworky because I'm just picking up the strays. Okay. I want it, the, the thing is, I want it to be like, I don't want, I don't want to see seams. That's why I did what I did. Well, then I am just going to. So, if you can just get them like this. Go to the very bottom one there. Now that's going to be difficult for... Let's try not to grab so much. Let's just do like... Oh, a couple of these little guys. Little guys. Okay, so Jeff has a whole fan. This just doesn't want to work. My hands are sticky. <laughs> nope. I'm just trying to like fan it to where I can get one like that to where it's just kind of loose. 
I'll just lay it down and make sure it's straight on there. It's like a pest dispenser, but of gold leaf. Ooh, that was almost crooked. Now you made it. Hello, Melissa. Ooh. I don't know what that is, Mike. Plus karma, for sure. Hello, Melly. So Jeff's just putting a little piece of gum out and letting the sticky take it. Oh. That's what it looks like when you just have, like, just boop. It looks like someone just takes a piece of gum out. Like, what? Oh. Joel, that sounds amazing for dinner. Did everybody have an awesome today? Hope so. So Jeff really wants to avoid any seams, really. And we're going to brayer all of it in. And I want to get one of those. Varnisher? Verna, varnishers? Varnish? I don't know. It's you a little thing use, uh, that's like whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. You can use like it's like 5,000 grit sandpaper or something that you just cut a circle. 5,000? You wait till this is dry, obviously. All the way dry. Or you can use like almost maybe like cotton Sometimes cotton. cotton works or, but it's like a, a very firm pad of whatever yeah, that stuff is. I don't remember where I saw that. And I was like, that is legit. Very legitimate. And try not to, don't, don't push your finger, don't give it pressure and pull it along because you might stretch it, you might break it because of this stuff being still moist. Because you just don't know. That's true, you just can't even know. So there's like a small amount of air in here. Oh and yeah, it's just gonna just came on. It's just gonna grab one of these and like flail it. Flail it? Flail it. It's a good word. I just really wanna show people that there's no ruined art, there's no art fail, there's no None of that. If your piece doesn't sell, just evaluate it. Look at it compared to pieces that did sell. What's different? And if you can't figure out why a piece wouldn't sell because you like it and you can't figure out why, what the deal is, add to it just a little bit like we're doing. We're adding something a little bit more. Well, I guess it's a retro and now. What album cover has something like this? Nirvana? Pink Floyd. Pink Floyd. Yeah. So now Jeff is brayering it in. I'm just, I'm just lightly pushing it. I'm just using this side. I'm not like they can't see trying it. to, I'm just trying to use, I mean, I know it's all flat, but I'm just trying to push a little pressure down on here. Well, and this is a canvas. So you have to be kind of particular about what you're doing. And we just put the glue down so it may not be 100% dry everywhere and you don't want it to tug. So keep that in mind, students. Don't get impatient. If you're, if you're an impatient person, do this and just go do something else. Go do a load of laundry or the dishes or watch a 
an episode of a something. A season of American Horror Story. I don't know what, what you kids watch these days. Good point, Judy. If something doesn't sell, hang it in the toilet. No one puts nice things in the toilet. <laughs> Your Pink Floyd Pink has this, the one that was in the jury show. I love that piece, Susan. It looked really good. Really good. All right, let's do this. I don't know if this is dry, but let's show them what we got. Oh, my goodness. Betty just said, I'm still trying to figure out why pieces I don't like sell and the ones I like take longer to sell. I cannot even explain to you how much I understand what you're saying and how frustrated it makes me. Because it's always the piece that we're like, mm, let's not take this one to this show. And then we have a little bit of room left in our truck or whatever. And so we decide to bring our last effort pieces or why would we need to bring that pieces. And they always sell first. Like, it got to a point where we're like, we should just have a, a stuff we don't like show and just sell out with it. I'm sorry, Gail. Judy wasn't getting her notifications either, and so she just set an alarm for 6 o'clock every day. An impatient person now doing laundry. Well, here's the thing. I'm bad at doing laundry. My favorites go in the dining room till they sell. When people ask me what will happen if it doesn't sell, I always say I will hang it in the toilet. And they always act offended like it's too good. Well, they can buy it. I would definitely pull away from here. From the piece. Pull away from the gold. Yeah, so that if it is attached to it, if you pull it like this, it's it it'll could peel be, it. Yeah, it could peel some of it off. So I'll definitely pull away from it like that. This blue and gold look great together, though. So now he's using just a fluffy brush. You can use a makeup brush. They sell brushes that are specifically for... Bubba, what are you doing? He's... How are you going to be lazy and protecting it? Protect us. What? What is he looking at? What are you doing, little tater tot? You guys hear him? Okay, hold on. I'll help you. I think what he's looking at Come is here. maybe that light ring. Okay. I don't know what that is? He is. He's looking at the light ring. <laughs> is it new? No. Like, has it been moved? It looks like it. Okay. What adhesive did you use? This adhesive was by Ducks. I don't even know if I'm saying it right. That's good, man. Ducks quick dry gilding. So it's like a car level of the lady with, I mean, the bottle with the lady. We could do one with it thicker on one side to make it have a forced perspective for sure. Mm -hmm. Great idea on this piece, beautiful. I didn't buy a special brush, just use one from Five Below. Yeah, absolutely. You can yeah. you can get an eyeshadow this is brush. Just for, this is for um this is for gold leaf. Um as you can see it's pretty dense and what it does is it, it'll it'll take those little edges off without scratching it. I would just wait. 
for two or three hours after to take it off anyways, so. I love how it looks. Now let's see what the bare looks like. So since this is an oil-based adhesive, I'm not going to flood these till tomorrow. So that's probably what I'll do on tomorrow's live is flooding oil-based shenanigans, adhesives, and what to do, um, how to seal it in further, etc. That's gorgeous. Gonna have to go back and watch what I missed. So much inspiration. Well, thank you. I definitely did not come up with this idea. No idea who did. Um, but I definitely hope you're all inspired by this and want to give it a go. It just, it just, it's fun. It's fun to do stuff like this because for one, it takes a little time, a little precision and it kind of gets you out of your norm. Mm -hmm. Definitely out of your norm. And, and uh, it's just relaxing. It definitely will break kind of, you out of your norm. You kind of forget about time when you're doing something like this. Mm hmm I have a great source for foil and foil adhesives. Am I allowed to share? Melly, I don't think it will let you add a link, but if you, like... Type in a name and then space and then... Yeah, and then so if like you that. do it... So, for example, if I was going to share artisttilldeath.com, I would do artisttilldeath space dot space com because it's just not going to let you add a link unless you're a moderator um if they want like some people to represent them affiliates for their foils and adhesives that would be even better because anytime you, as an artist you can diversify your revenue streams it's good for business just as an artist making a living with art. I'm just saying. So now we're gonna dust this one off and see what we got. Hi, John. What size canvas is that? I believe it's 18 by 36. Yeah. Hey, Valerie, how are you doing? I would say a six, uh, I'd say a 15 by 30, maybe. Maybe 15 by maybe. 30. Well, it's Hold like, on, here you go. I normally pretty good. Yeah, this is 18 by 36. I'm pretty sure that's right. Oh, 15. 15 by 30. Yeah, that's right. 15 by 36. Normally it's 18 by 36, but. Usually they're all divisible we went, by the other side. We went, uh, I love painting on these. If my husband gets a promotion he's up for, I make what working in art full-time. Well, I hope so, Susan, only because I know that you love to art and you're very good at it. Love this. It's gorgeous. Love that. Love it. It's beautiful. Awesome, awesome. Take my fur girls out for their walk. Gail, have an awesome walk. Give your little fur girls a hug from us. Looks like modern abstract art. Love it. Reach out to them. Maybe she'll send you some stuff. You can work to the, together on stuff. Um, Melly, can you send me an email with their link? And I can reach out to them. Uh, is that alcohol ink? No, this is a, a resin pour from many moons ago. <laughs> this is so old. I think the breakthroughs, the opening. Yeah, but I think it needs to be more a, a harder line. You know what I'm saying? Like, this is just very weak right here. If it were to come out through here. You know, because you don't see mm -hmm. very light, so. Yeah, I see that. But, yeah. 
Hey, TG. That added so much. Just a touch of the gold geometry. Agreed. Stunning. Thank you. Love the scale of it. I do too. I think it works out really nice. So as soon as D Jeff is done dusting off, um, I'll have him hold it up so you can see it and all of its vertical glory. Look, if you have some pieces that are sticking up, you could push into it and that's what kind of flakes it off. Breaks it down if some. If you're just trying to paint it off, it's probably just pushing it down. A lot of times I think you have to use like a, a rough brush edge. Oh yeah, let me come on this side and so it can catch in the gold. Well, that's obviously not the right sticker. No, no. I love it. Hey, Bubba. And so then also the smaller one. It's just something to give a little bit of a something extra to a piece that just hasn't moved quite yet. I love having these breakaways, breakthroughs, these open-ended areas where it comes out or goes under and just splashes. That just enhances the movement to me just a little bit. I love it. I love it. Love it. I will do a top leaf to seal these in. Do you want to just get a Tupperware for those? Because they're just going to fold if you try to stuff them in there. That's what she said. No? Mm -hmm. Do you want me to get you a... I'm going to go get a Tupperware. Isn't that right, big boy? Okay, fine. So, anyways, I will be flooding these, but since the... This that I used is oil-based. I want to give this at least 24 hours to just air out and hopefully it won't give me any issues when I try to flood it and seal it in. Hopefully. I love flat versus shining, blown out versus sharp lines. Love it, right? Thank you. Thank you. Completely changed the piece. Love it. Just the classiest touch. Thank you. So, I invite all of you guys to give this a shot. If you like either of these pieces, they are currently for sale. Shoot me an email if you want pricing on these or any other pieces that we do. And I hope you guys have an, an awesome evening. The circle piece in the background, that's beautiful. I don't know what circle piece. Anyways, you guys have an awesome evening. And we will see you guys tomorrow where I will attempt to flood over something that apparently has a little bit of oil in it. But I'm hoping after it's got gold on it i mean they you know on their clear this is for cars so that's what's kind of strange right why would they have something oily around the cars oh i forgot to show you guys um because of how we laid it the seams are a little bit difficult to see <laughs> haven't found one yet i know i will 
I don't know. Anyways. Yeah, I'm still working on finishing that one. You could have used Speedball Adhesive for the Gold Leaf, absolutely, but we wanted to try this one out, so that's what we did. You can pull a straighter, longer, smoother line with that than the Speedball. This is for um, pulling lines on cars. And use Mineral Spirits to clean your brush if you use this. Anyways. If you want to clean your brush. You guys have an awesome evening. We'll see you all tomorrow. Be kind to one another because you never know what someone's going through. And always remember, when we do the tests. So you don't have to. Is it too much? It's too close? All right. Well, we'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Bye. I said bye. Mm-hmm.